Dana here. Welcome to Solar and Create. Today's project will be part of my Christmas in July series, which are projects that are great for beginners and make quick and simple gifts. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of those projects. Today we'll be making a strap keychain. You can put your keys on the end, but the nice thing is it slips over your wrist, so when you're carrying those bags from the car, your keys are nice and secure on your wrist. So, let's get started. Today's project is the, stra the strap keychain. Fits over your wrist. You can make it with a saying or a greeting on top um, that you sew on a muslin, or you can make it without anything at all, just the two fabrics. Let me show you how to make the greeting. You can use stamps that have a saying on them. I did all of these using my uh, little alphabet stamps that you can get very reasonable at most craft stores. You get the whole alphabet. You'll need a stamp pad. And then I also did some, this one I did with Sharpie. And when we heat set our ink, it won't run when it gets wet. So let me show you how to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to take my muslin. Muslin or white fabric works the best so you can see your ink really well. And you can stamp in any color ink that you'd like. I'm going to use this wooden flyaway stamp and I'm going to use just regular black ink. So I'm going to get my stamp inked up here. <clears throat> and I'm using this <clears throat> clear plastic lid just to give me a hard surface to stamp on instead of my ironing surface. And you're just going to position it, stamp it just like you were stamping on paper, and always be sure that you clean your stamps as soon as you're done with them and then the ink doesn't set on them. Get that out of the way. Now we have our saying that we're going to use and we're going to heat set it. When you heat set it, you're going to iron right on top, but you're going to move it gently around for about 15 seconds. So you just place it on there kind of move it, pressing gently, and what you're doing is you're just heat setting that ink so that when it gets wet, it won't run. Same thing with the Sharpie. If you use a Sharpie to write your name or your greeting, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to just heat set it, and then it won't run when it's on your strap. Now our greeting is ready to go. So I'm going to move that out of the way for a second. You're also going to need two pieces of fabric. Your fabric is 2 inches wide by 13 inches long. And you want two different fabrics or you can make them with the same fabric, whichever you prefer. I'm going to press mine so they're a little flat. Then you need to decide if you're using two different fabrics, which fabric will be on the outside of your keychain and which fabric would be on the inside. I'm going to use this as my outside and this as my inside. So I'm going to take my outside fabric. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to put my greeting on top. Then you want, we're going to go to the machine and we're going to stitch around this so it's in place. But I want to make sure that I only pin it to the front side. So that when I stitch, I now have it in position for when I make my strap. It'll be on one side of the fabric centered. So let's go to the machine. 
Now we're back at the machine and we're going to just stitch all the way around to secure our saying to our keychain. I did realize that my fabric was a little bit wide for my keychain because when I stitched my seam allowance it could possibly get caught. So I did trim it down slightly. We're going to start at the bottom edge of our keychain, of our saying, and we just want to catch just a little bit of that fabric. And it we're going to do what we call thread painting. So we're just going to go around it a couple of times. We're not going to try to keep it exactly the same. We want that stitching to be a little more creative. I'm going to roll our needle down. Turn. Now I can pull my pin out, which gives me a little more room. <clears throat> to my beginning and I'm going to go around one more time and I'm not going to be concerned if they line up exactly because I want it to be more like a sketch. Kind of like you were doodling on your notepad. back to my beginning and I am going to go over my end stitches right there to secure them. Clip my threads nice and close. Without cutting my greeting there. And now it is secure to my front. Over time, these edges will fray a little bit, which adds a little more character to your keychain. When we go back to the mat, I'll show you the next step. For the next step, we're going to put our two fabrics together. So you're going to lay your uh, bottom fabric or your inside fabric down. You're going to right side up. You're going to take your front side and you're going to place it right side down or pretty side to pretty side. And I'm just going to clip it on both sides a couple of places so it doesn't shift on me when I go to the machine. And we're going to stitch down both long sides, leaving both ends open so we can turn it. So let's go back to the machine. Now we're at the machine and we're going to stitch down both long sides so we can put our fabrics together. I'm going to use the outside edge of my foot as my guide on both sides of my fabric. Always start with your needle down and then we're just going to stitch. Moving those clips as you go. And to stitch the other side, I'm not going to cut my threads. I'm going to just pull a little bit of a tail. I'm going to flip it around, put it back in, and keep going. back to the mat and turn it right side out. Now we're ready to turn our keychain right side out. The easiest way I've found is take a large safety pin, put your finger inside and you want to catch with the safety pin just one side of your fabric on the end. Then you're going to take your safety pin, 
put it down inside and then you're going to do what I call an inchworm. You're just going to gather pushing that fabric onto the safety pin and then gently pull from the back and that will start it to turn it right side out. We're going to just keep inching and go all the way down. Now that we have it right set out, we can just take our safety pin out. Maybe. There we go. Then we're going to take it and we're going to kind of roll it a little bit to flatten our seams and to push them to the side. I like to just take my fingers, kind of roll it back and forth, and that makes those seams. I clipped those threads, I forgot to do that make some seam, those seams lay a little flatter. Then we're going to give it a quick press. When you press something to, before you stitch it, especially if you're going to do a top stitch, it just helps the fabric to lay in the place that you want it to and it makes the finished project look a little nicer. All right. Now we're at the machine and we're just going to do a top stitch all the way down on both sides. come to the end, I'm not going to cut my threads, I'm just going to pull a longer tail, flip it around, and go back the other direction. Always start with your needle down. And going back down the other way. out of the machine and clip your threads. When you top stitch, what that does is it secures your top and your bottom fabrics together so that over time they don't twist. I'm going to clip all our threads. Now we're ready to add our D-ring. I get my D-rings from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description box below for you to purchase them there, but you can also get a small package at any local craft store. What we want to do is put our right side, the outside of our keychain fabric, in. So we want to slide the D-ring on, making sure, just put it down to the bottom because we're going to stitch this seam across here, making sure that our pretty side of our keychain is on the inside. Go across and then I'm going to secure mine a look good so I'm going to flip it back around and do another stitch across again flip my presser fit and go one more time that gives me a really good secure stitch because the stress on your keychain is going to be where this d-ring is Do a little back stitch and clip my threads. One more step and our keychain will be done. Now that we have our D-ring, we're going to turn our keychain the correct way. You want to open up this seam so it lays flat and you can just kind of press it with your fingers to open it up. You're going to take and flip your keychain the correct way. So now our 
right side is out. You're going to turn your D ring and slide it up so that you put the flat part of the D into that seam. It takes a little bit of finagling with it, but you'll get it. Now we've got it positioned in that seam on the flat side. Then you're going to fold your keychain back over, putting your D ring on the inside. This is the trickiest part of this project because you're going to want to take some clips, clip it on the side a little ways down so you're not they're not in your way of your stitching. And what you're going to do is you're going to stitch right across here, encasing that D-ring in your strap, but also closing up that seam and making it nice and neat. Your presser foot will push up against that D-ring and will determine how far you can go on your seam. You want to position it in the machine just below that D-ring. Not unthread your machine would be helpful. going to lower our presser foot and our presser foot is right up against that D-ring. Roll our needle down and we're going to just stitch slowly right across. Again, I'm going to turn my keychain and go back over that stitching to give me a really secure seam. Back stitch a little bit, right back over it, back stitch one more time. Remove my clips. all of my threads and now our keychain is complete. These make great gifts for any anybody on your list, guys, girls, that teenager who's just getting their first car is a great gift. Hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out So Learn Create and subscribe. See you in the next one.